My name's Carl. I've been in hospitality now for 25 years. My life sort of changed probably about two and a half years ago. We were working pretty hard, uh, a lot of late nights, and just generally a lot of you know, a lot of things going on in my life. And then all of a sudden, the I guess the the cornerstone of my life, the thing that I was relying on, it was no longer there. Went along day to day life, worked harder, worked longer hours, got the job done. Um, I hadn't really, you know, thought thought you know, that, that, that there was anything wrong. I was just lost and didn't know what to do, and I just got to the point where I was looking at myself and this, you know, do, it, you know, can I still go on? And then chose to. Um, <laughs> Got to the point where I thought, you know, I've got to do something about this. Um, how do I how do I do something about it? What do I what do I do? I slept it all off. Got up the next day and went to the gym and went and just did some exercise. Tried to release some endorphins. Tried myself feel a bit better, a bit more human. I knew there, I knew there were mental health plans out there. I knew there was things I could do to 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 get support to get through this. And I, and but I just didn't know what those avenues were. For me, I was fortunate enough to, to find the right psychologist first off the bat. I never wanted any medication. I thought I, I, if, if there were other options out there, a more holistic approach, that's what I was going to do. And I guess now that's that point where I'm at, where if I don't do these things and I don't follow these regimes, my anxiety creeps back, my depression creeps back. But I'm starting to learn what, what my triggers are and how to sort of deal with those. And then speaking with my management team and those kind of things, and just sort of letting that filter down, but also not hiding it. And I had a really, really good tight crew I was working with and they were all super supportive, which is really great. A lot of people think that the anxiety and depression are the same thing, when they're actually um, two different things. It's not about just having a few bad days. You heard Carl talk about um, trying to put on a face to come to work and do the things that he needed to do, but you feel this deep sadness inside yourself. And often people don't know what's going on, like they just know that they're not feeling the best or they're not feeling right, or they might be having suicidal thoughts, or they might be having thoughts of, you know, there's something wrong here, but I just don't know what it is. Um, if, if you're feeling like that, then go and see your GP first because that's a good starting point. And most of the time, people with depression who are diagnosed with clinical depression will need um, a range of different strategies to help them get, get well. Anxiety plays out in a number of different ways, but most people find that it's an obsessive fear and that stops them from actually enjoying life. And it almost um, disables them sometimes because the fear becomes overwhelming. And a lot of people have this myth that they're going crazy and that's not the case. It's a biological and it's a brain thing that happens. And it, the good thing about anxiety and depression is that it can be treated. I found that you know, having quite a regimented exercise regime, making sure that I was getting that exercise, getting those releases of endorphins, you know, making sure I had the right diet, cutting back on alcohol. Um, you know, I stopped drinking alcohol as a coping mechanism. I started drinking it for enjoyment. When you heard Carl talk about his experience, he talked about a range of different things that he was doing. And self-care is really important if you've got a mental illness, because what you're trying to do is make sure that those things that trigger it are kind of um, minimised, I guess, and the, and the risk of it flaring up again is minimised. Alcohol is another coping mechanism that Australians tend to use. It might work in the short term, but it's not a long-term solution and it's, it could add another problem on top of it. When we talk about mental illness and mental health, it really doesn't discriminate. It goes across the age groups. Once we talk about it, we realise that one in five people are diagnosed with depression and anxiety in Australia today. Um, we realise it's really common and that we're not alone. And also that um, it helps people understand you and what you're going through. So talking's really vital. So for me, it, the first and foremost was to sort of, I guess, to work out with the help of GP, psychologist, um, what, my, what was triggering this, what was bringing on my anxiety, bringing on, you know, making me feel flat and, 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 my, and, and making me feel depressed, to learn how to cope with that. Because I think, you know, to, to face it front on was, for me, was, was the best way. 
and then surrounding myself but with great humans, people who, who were going to support me, um, people I knew I could call on if, if, if and when I needed, um, those who would just do, you know, just a, a quick check in. They'd pop into work and say good day and have a beer and a chat, or be it someone, you know, just a phone call, you know, just thinking of you, you know, how's your week been? You, you, know, you only get one life and you want to have the best life you can. And I think looking after, my, looking after myself with exercise and right diet is great for my great for my for, for my physical health, but it's also amazing for my mental health. Everyone's story is different. Your story is not worse than someone else's. It's not better. You know, yours is not less than someone else's. It's your story. Um, make sure that you do ask for help. Go and see your GP. Go, go and get get it. Go and see a psychologist. Talk about it with your mates. You'd be, you'd be amazed at how how much you, you know, your friends want to be there to help and support you.